1998, Fortune magazine named a relatively unknown bank in Columbus, Georgia, Synovus Bank, the best company to work for in the United States. 57 consecutive quarters of double-digit profit growth, 15,000% growth in employees in 10 years from 1988 to 1998, a turnover rate one-fifth their industry average. So I'm intrigued and they beat the pants off of all their major competitors in every market they're in. So I call up the CEO, I said, can I come and visit your bank? He says, yes. Three months later, I'm sitting in his office in Columbus, Georgia. I said, Jimmy, before I meet anybody else in your bank, tell me why is this the best company to work for in America? Why are you so successful? And I love it, in his strong southern drawl, he said, John, John. He said, the secret of Synovus is a power of love. I said, Jimmy, I'm from up north. Could you say that again? I said, John, the secret of Synovus is the power of love. He said, you ask anybody in this bank why they love working here and why it's so great, they'll tell you it's love. He said, we love each other, we love the customers, we know each other's kids, each other's grandchildren. He said, one part of this company cries, the whole company cries with them. He said, you ask anybody the secret of this bank, they'll tell you the power of love. Gave me a badge, set me loose. I'm wandering around the bank and asking people, what's the secret of the bank? They said, the power of love. <laughs> what's the secret of the bank? The power of love. But everywhere I go, I saw these two numbers on the wall, 100 slash zero. Now, at first I thought, now this is an honest bank. I mean, they put it right up front where you can see it. You give us 100% of your money, you get nothing in return. <laughs> you know, they never laugh at TD at that. I don't, I don't, I don't know why, you know. Um, their customers laugh, I just don't know why they don't laugh. But it's obviously not it because it's on badges, it's on walls, it's on desks. So finally I ask a teller in one of the branches, well, what's the, what's the 100 zero? And she said, oh, that's easy. She said, the 100 stands for 100% responsibility. You never say it's not my job, you never say I'd have been on time if it wasn't for the traffic, you never say this would be a great company if the CEO would just do his or her job. 100% of the time, you take responsibility for the success of yourself and the success of this company. You know it's up to each one of us to keep this company great. She said, and the zero stands for zero excuses for not giving great service or great quality in every single interaction with every single person. There is never an excuse not to be your absolute best. I ran back to the CEO's office. I waited to see him. I said, Jimmy, wait a minute. You told me the, the secret of the banks, the power of love. What's with the 100 zero stuff? And I love it. He didn't even look up. He said, well, I forgot to tell you, it's, it's tough love. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I, I think Jimmy Blanchard nailed it. He nailed it. If you want to create a highly engaged business, I would ask you right now, do you have those two things in your office? First of all, do you have the 100 zero? We'll talk about the love in a minute. Do you have the 100 zero? Do 100% of the people who work for you know what's expected of them? Do they know what you stand for? Do they know what you're shooting for in terms of the kind of experience that customers are supposed to have? Is there even one person on your team who is not a great ambassador for your business that you are either coaching up or coaching out? And I'll tell you right now, if you want to do something to create engagement in your team, if you've got even one person in your business who is either in the wrong job for their skills or is simply not a good ambassador for your business, one of the best things you can do for your business is when you leave this room, make a commitment that you will either coach them up or you'll coach them out if, uh, if they're not capable or willing to do that.